Hey there, go to Minecraft Day here, and welcome back. This time we'll be doing something different and uh, teaching you how to record a video. So, not just any video, like gaming, so what I do. Uh, first of all, it's hard to uh, find programs, I understand that, uh, to record voice and uh, video at the same time. What I use is uh, Fraps, which you can see here if my mouse is still there. Um, it's this one I'm moving. Fraps in general is... Um, what you can record sound and movies but the downside is that um, it has a huge huge um, file which is uh, it, you can do a 30 minute and that could be around 60 um, gigs of memory so it's not the best but it does give you um, your quality and uh, everything else so fraps isn't um, technically free uh, you do have to buy it but I mean hey, you want to know something if you can crack it you know you can just download one that's already cracked it's free and there's nothing bad about it I mean who isn't doing that and uh, if you can see on the top uh, left corner here you can see that there is the audio file moving along that is me talking at the same time so if I'm not talking you can see there's that flat line, so there you go. So this is Audacity, where uh, it's a free program, no payment, no crack. Uh, it's perfectly free. Everybody use it. I do use it. My brother use it. Yeah. So it's a perfect to uh, edit audio and uh, to record audio at the same time. So what I can do right now, I think, is just explain how FRAP works. So when you download it, this is a thing that pops up. So you have general, you have um, FPS, movies, and screenshots. So in general, you can uh, choose start to, um, well, no, fraps to start um, minimize, so not in, uh, not as a window. Uh, fraps window always up on top means when you play a game or um, anything else you're recording, it'll stay on top of the game. So you'll see it all the time which is kinda annoying so you can just keep that uh, unchecked run fraps when window starts self-explanatory um, monitor aerial uh, desktop this is what it can record your desktop instead of just going into your game and targeting it so if I have that off I won't be able to make this video right now recording my desktop so yeah and uh, minimize to um, system tray only so it doesn't completely uh, out of the way working in the background so you can still see it uh, when you go down here and you have this here so red means uh, it's recording so yeah um, FPS so benchmarkings uh, it kind of how should I say it it hmm this is kind of hard uh, it kind of tells you where and when and how much your FPS is uh, using and it's kind of like it says, benchmarking your computer, uh, your memory, and your frames per second. And uh, on the other side, there's the hotkey. So if I say I want to change it to the other side, all here. I don't know if you can see the frames um, counter. It's a little counter that it does to um, show me how many frames. So right now, I am peaking at 40 frames highest, maybe? No? 38 highest? And uh, that's uh, perfectly well for a video. So if you go to movies, um, here's my uh, hotkey. It's press F9 once um, to start, F9 once to turn off. Um, what you want here is to um, save up where you want your folder. So mine's in pictures movie. It's a little redundant, yes, but uh, I like it there. Um, video capture. Um, a perfect good video. So a movie normally is 29.7 something, 74 frames per second. So you round that up to 30 frames. That's perfect. And uh, if your computer can't handle it, you record it 45 frames. Um, that will make everything look smoother and uh, less errors. So it look look less jittery at most part. And uh, full size and half size. That actually makes it so you're rendering at, uh, you're recording at half the quality or full quality so full if you want it like full HD so loop buffer uh, length 30 seconds that I have no idea what I did just leave that be 
and a split movie every four gigabytes. So if your computer can't handle it having a large file, so 60 gigabyte file, you can leave it like a cut the movie every four gigabytes. It'll help you cut it into um, so part one, part two, part four. So right here, the sound capture uh, setting, you can record your game sound. So basically any window sound that it makes. So um, minus the mic. The mic is not in. Uh, included in the Windows 7 sound. Um, that is what's right here. So record uh, external input that is me talking right now in the mic and putting into the video. What I'm doing right now is using Audacity and uh, recording it separately. So you want it separate because later on if the game is uh, recording and you're talking, the game sound is overlapping your voice and you guys can't hear me um, like my earlier videos I'll probably link that up and um, it's best if you can just change it up like put the game sound lower and then your voice a little bit higher it's pretty relative and really good so you can just click that and uh, the I don't know if you can see it here but the only capture while pushing so you hold the button you talk you don't hold the button you don't talk basically that and um, these ones are pretty um, um, well explanatory uh, self hide mouse cr uh, cursor in uh, video there's that lock frame rate uh, this locks your frame rate to mm, like it makes it steady 45 frames per second but sometime your uh, videos like let's say a loading screen it might not it's probably like one picture so it's like only two frames. So it, it, it's pl it's recording that as 45 frames per second. So which cause more memory and sometimes lags the shit out of the place. So yeah. And uh, for lossless of uh, RGB. So sometimes your computer uh, colors are a little bit wonky. And it won't um, comply as well to your video file. Um, sometime your video will the color will be inverted to saying uh so like red becomes green and then green becomes blue and then blue becomes red so it mixes the whole thing it makes it very negative yeah so inverted all the colors so just leave those three b if you want it uh easier to do the mouse could uh, do work so yeah just change the mouse thing and that's pretty much it the last one screenshot Take a picture, you can be a bitmap, a JPEG, a PNG, or TGA. And screen capture, you want the frame rate on the bottom with like the numbers, or uh, and you repeat like taking pictures every 10 seconds if you want to make it like a stop motion. So there's that. And uh, you just press it once, it keeps on taking pictures every 10 seconds, and then until you press it again. So that's pretty much it. And uh, okay. Let's switch to Audacity. Audacity, I can't do much now with uh, me recording my voice right now. So all I can do is make this bigger and see how much I'm talking. I've been talking for eight minutes now. So yeah. All right. So Audacity, there's the file, there's edit, all the stuff. Um, basically, you import uh, audio in here, you cut it. Uh, I'll probably make a separately so I'm not talking while I'm doing this but uh yeah eh, we're doing that and you just press record at the same time of your uh fraps fraps it was F9 and then uh audacity record was F9 so I press it at the same time and it'll perfectly sync it. It's just like uh how a movie you have that um little clappity clap clap thing uh where you go action and you have that clap and then both the sound will be in the video and in audio where they do it separate and then you can just match it up where there's that giant hit sound and uh, just match it up so it would be in sync which my videos isn't recording sound so it doesn't matter oh wow I'm all, I've been talking for 10 minutes and uh, that's pretty much it if you want me to have a uh, more better explained video a more lengthy one uh feel free to uh put a comment in the comment section down below and uh i'll see you guys next time press enter and we'll start okay get ready
love this pistol. It's powerful, it's amazing, it's easy to use, but you do have to use uh, weapons from time to time.